I've skipped the trip down the steps. What I want you to know is when people look down the steps, this is what they see. Uh, a lot of plants and I've got it very, very well lit down here. Uh, at the foot of the steps is this display for the ministry that I have where we supply, supply ramen noodles to indigent prisoners. Uh, immediately to my right at the bottom of the steps is my office for the notary, which I don't have completely set up. Um, still working on that one yet. One thing I'm really pleased about is I do have my own restroom, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's go down to the art gallery because that's what this is about. Again, at the foot of the steps, there's a display here about Tina and her art. Again, I've been blessed with two wonderful children that are both artists. And this wall to the gallery is Tina's work here. So we have several steps here to go to get down to the gallery. And I'll do one strictly on Tina's stuff here uh, before long. But here we are at the Titus and Philemon Gallery. By the way, the next door over is just my office supplies and stuff. So here we've entered the room and most people come in, they turn a little bit to the left. And again, we have a very well lit gallery and uh, where other galleries I've seen in town, they have a painting about every six to eight feet away from each other. We're kind of jam packed here. So I'm going to show you uh, what we have here. Again, this is almost all Timothy's work. Uh, the mirrors are left over. We had um, mirrors all the way around the entire room here because it was a dance studio. And uh, I did not want that many mirrors and I wanted to be sure to be able to show Timothy's art and Timothy's work area is hidden behind the easels here where he does his thing again all this is Timothy's then we do have a guest artist right in this particular area uh, a good friend of mine um, a contractor my age well past retirement uh, Len is a very interesting fella, uh, and he is a great artist, but he is a contractor that does remodels and so forth, still very active in what he's doing. These are cement walls all the way around. Uh, this whole building was designed to be a bomb shelter during the Cold War. And uh, it's not <laughs> easy to put up paintings and uh, artwork on cement walls. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a good adhesive for anything that, uh, that works on there. So a lot of drilling into the cement walls. This wall here shows a lot of his cartooning and uh, these prints, we sell the prints for five dollars, just five bucks and the originals are a hundred dollars. And this is our book display. Many of you have purchased Timothy's books. Um, we mail them out and uh, he's done very well with his with his two books, Titus and Philemon Take the Stage and Titus and Philemon Go Bananas. For those of you who are new to this, Titus and Philemon are guinea pigs and uh, their owner Joe there on the left. And much like Garfield, but I'll tell you, I've never seen Timothy 
copy Garfield or Peanuts or any other cartoonist. Uh, so he is very original, very skilled. He is also in two different newspapers. He's in the Minot Daily newspaper and he is also in the base newspaper. So that's our gallery. Again, thank you for coming to visit the Titus and Philemon Art Gallery. And uh, you have a great day. I hope when you're in Minot, North Dakota, you'll come and seek out the gallery.